Doesn't it feel like we're in the middle of a boom bap resurgence in hip hop music? What's up guys? Barry here, and if it's your first time to the channel we talk about hip hop, be making and general music production. So if that's your thing, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. With that said, in today's video, we're going to start the discussion on one of my most requested topics, boom bap. There's no better place to start than on the drums. Drum breaks refer to that special section of the song where there's no vocals or instrumentation. Whether it's a solo or a drum pattern, if it has groove, you probably want to sample it. If you don't want to sample records or old songs, there's a ton of places where you can still find drum breaks. Splice is a great resource for anything and everything music production related, including drum breaks. Soul Surplus makes some of my favorite drum breaks. Sample Magic also makes some great breaks. And if that isn't enough, that sounds Child's Play Collection should do the trick. All right, so we got this drum break loaded into machine. Inside a machine, you have four modes to chop up your sample. Manual, grid, split, and detect mode. For drum breaks, I suggest using detect mode as it simply chops your sample based on the transients. The higher sensitivity you set, the more chops you get. And the more chops you have, the more opportunity you have to manipulate the drum break. You can play the drum break fast, in any order that you want. And you can even slow it down. Alright guys, so as an individual who's played drums in bands, who's made beats finger drumming, there's absolutely no shame in drawing in your drums. So with that said, let's jump into machine and draw in some boom bap drums. Our drums for today's example comes from Native Instruments Queensbridge Story. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is set our tempo. Today, we're gonna to go to 85. And down on the bottom left, we'll grab our pencil tool. So what are some basic things we know about drum breaks? We know that the kick is on the one, and we have a snare on the two and the four. We'll add another kick drum on the three, and for hi-hats, we'll draw them in playing an eight note pattern. We can add another kick drum to spice it up. And that's pretty much the basic foundation of any boom bap beat. Everything else is groove. And the easiest way to add groove inside a machine and any DAW is to add swing. So that was 25% swing. What does it sound like at 50% swing? And you're not only limited to using 1 8 swing. And with that swing setting, it's well off the grid, and no one will be able to tell that you drew it in. By the way, in addition to these tips and tricks, I also have a video on humanizing drums for the purposes of finger drumming that you can find down in the description. If adding swing isn't enough, Machine also has a function called variation. 
It'll allow you to add variation to velocity as well as time. For this example, we're going to set it on the snare drum. We're going to add 20% time shift, hit apply, and you can see on the software that it shifted the snare drum. Cool. Now let's add some variation to the hi-hat. So it's worth noting that the function reacts differently based on your grid. That was on a 1 8th grid. Let's change the grid to 164 and see how it works out. So on that grid, it's way more subtle. Lastly, let's see what kind of groove we can create by adjusting the velocity range. And if you're not happy with it, you can always tweak it and randomize it again. All right, guys, so that was a quick introduction to boom bap drums. We learned how to find and chop up our drum breaks. We learned how to program our own boom bap drums. So in the next video, we're going to learn how to add some instrumentation to those drums. With that said, hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. And happy bee making. Peace.